given two variables, once we know they share a linear association, we can construct a line of best fit. So a line that sort of <clears throat> passes through all of our data points and gives us the best approximation of a, of a linear trend going through those points. So in our first example, we're given some data on roller coasters and the amount contributed to tsunami aid for different countries. We want to construct a scatter plot and add to that a line of best fit. So with our data in StatCrunch, we can select graph and construct a scatter plot, select our two variables, and then what we want to do is add one extra step here. We want to overlay a polynomial of order one. So one would indicate a first degree polynomial, so basically a, a straight line. Two would be a second degree polynomial, so we start to get into parabolas and things like that. But we're going to be only interested in straight line patterns or um, linear models. So we're going to overlay a polynomial of order one and click compute. So what this is going to do is add a line of best fit to those data points. So give us that straight line that sort of approximates all of those different values. So we have the scatter plot with the line of best fit. So this line of best fit we can refer to more formally as the regression line or the regression model for this data. And since we're dealing only with straight line equations, that line can always be represented by an equation of the form y equals mx plus b. So that slope intercept form where m gives us the value for our slope and b is our y intercept. So in this equation, m, which is our slope, represents the change in our y variable whenever the x variable is increased by 1. So we've already looked at constructing that line of best fit. Now we actually want to construct the linear model. So we actually want the equation in slope intercept form and then provide an interpretation for the slope. So to get our line of best fit, well, the line of best fit we already have, to get the actual straight line equation in slope intercept form, we'll select stat, regression, since we're trying to create a regression model, and simple linear, since we just want a linear model. We'll again select our two variables, and for now we'll just leave the rest of this blank. We just need to select those two variables and click compute. This is going to generate a lot of information. For right now, all we're interested in is this line that gives us variable 2, which is essentially our y value, equals 62.07. That's our slope, or our, I'm sorry, our y intercept, plus 2.4 times variable 1, which is 2.4 times x. So our slope of 2.4. So the linear model, or the regression model, for this data is y equals 62.073 plus 2.414x. So that's our linear model. We also want to interpret the slope, which in this case is 2.414. So what we're saying is for each additional roller coaster, a country contributes an additional 2.414, which in this case is in millions, million dollars to tsunami aid. So again, the slope tells us that if we increase our x variable, which is roller coasters, by 1, it tells us how much that y variable should increase by. So for every one additional roller coaster, tsunami aid should increase by about 2.4 million. So once we have our model, or one of the main reasons we want to generate this model, is that now we can use it to predict future or unknown values. So our data set only has values for these specific given countries. 
we have a country like the Netherlands that has 36 roller coasters and $156 million they donate to Tsunami Aid. So what if a different country were to have 75 roller coasters or only 22? So that's information that we don't have in our data table, <clears throat> but we could use our model to predict some of those unknown values. But as we're predicting unknown values, we always have to think about the accuracy of our model, which is essentially answering the question, how good are the predictions it makes? <clears throat>